Hey there, Gemini. How are you? It's Lisa, and this is Heart of Inspiration, here to help you lead a spirit-led, whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life. And if you see movement of the backdrop behind me, it's because my new kitty, Gemini, thinks it's really cute to play with my backdrop. Oh, no, that would be Virgo messing with your reading. Come here, Virgo. Virgo. Oh, they're both in there. Anyway, okay, this is going to be exciting. Let's all just pray the darn backdrop doesn't come down. Okay, um, if this is your first time here, welcome. We're not used to the kittens in the background, but, you know, they wanted to be here. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Let's get into your reading. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, okay? So here we go. Gemini, I did pull the energy oracle cards okay i pulled three energy oracle cards for you um we have door to value okay we have happy family and then we have patience so this door to value card is an oracle card saying expect like new opportunities in career abundance business money okay green run me the coins right so expect some good opportunities expect some new doors opening for you happy family if you consider if you have a family now then you know like these are going to be good times here at the beginning of fall here in september fabulous times okay um if you are single, perhaps you're going to meet somebody with a ready-made family already from a previous relationship and things are going to go well for you guys. Or it could just mean, guess what? You get to have some celebratory times with friends or whatever, but celebrations are coming along in conjunction with the new career or expansion of career. And then here you go, Gemini, the dreaded word, patience. Patience, my dear gems. So patience, have patience. Um, even though this is all coming towards you in September, and I know you've been working, and I know you've been expecting, and I know you've been wanting, right? You've been wanting this, but you have to still have patience. Let go of desperation is really what this is saying at this point, right? Here's an angel. She's got that gold coin in her hand, so it's on its way. So, but you got to let go of the desperation because desperation stops manifestation, we got to remember that desperation stops manifestation, all right? So this is what we have here today for the Oracle cards. So let's pull some Thelma cards and see what else we have for our general reading, okay? Oh, that's a good card to start off with. We have the Three of Wands. you're feeling a little conflicted are you i think that's why this patience thing is here yeah i think you're feeling a little conflicted and i think also that for some reason you're just not willing to accept that it's all going to happen in the right way all right here we go all right Woof. And that hermit card's been coming out for everybody. What's coming towards you is the three of wands. In other words, what's coming towards you is your ship coming in. Have you ever noticed in the three of wands, the card that ship is off in the distance? And what did you have to do with ships? You had to unload them when they came to the dock, right? Like the work wasn't done. It was just that finally what we are looking for, expecting, had so much anticipation for, has finally arisen to, arrived at shore. And with this eight of cups, leave, this has got a lot to do with this patient. Card. I'm going to tell you, patience is like the main theme to getting this these doors opened, right, for um, greater monetary advancement, abundance, and then to have the celebratory times. You got to let go of the old way of thinking, the old way of feeling, the old way of manifesting. If you hold on to old emotions, right, emotions that are attached to past issues, you're going to have a dreadful time of all this, okay? Because you're going to actually push away your 
manifest a desire. You're going to push away your abundance. And that's what you're bringing to the table. This conflict, this, I believe that it's going to be there, but is it really? Or, you know what, it's not worked before. Or these people have always let me down. So you're feeling very conflicted about some of this. And, but you really know that you need a new start, a fresh start with this Ace of, Ace of Swords. And you're ready. Right, I can see, feel the sensation of I'm building, 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 and I'm finally ready. And you're ready to have forward movement, forward communication, really be open and honest with people. And I'm just going to ask that you do it with love, okay? I'm going to ask that you do it in your logical self, but not quite as blunt. Please don't cut and slice and dice everybody with your tongue this month. Otherwise, no one's going to want to work with you, okay? So just, you know, be truthful about what you need, but don't be catty. Don't be petty, okay? Now, the Eight of Swords, that's an energy that you're just like, oh, that's kind of like holding you back. So this feeling of being trapped, but it's really only in your mind. Right? Um, and the Page of Pentacles. So perhaps you felt like some people that were friendly towards you before ha are not being very truthful about it, or they've let you down, or it's just like not really worked out. And you're just not certain about this. Like, you know, you can see that there's abundance on the other side, but you're just not sure because ideas that you've had before, new ideas about how to gain abundance before, maybe they've not really, like, really um, come to fruition. Maybe they've not really, um, oh, how can I say this? All of the plans that you laid, the best laid plans, right, went to crap. I mean, okay, I'm just going to be honest, right? But what's going to help you overcome that energy is this King of Cups energy. This, like, I'm going to look at it and I'm going to love on it, but I'm going to love at it from a distance. I'm going to bless and release. I'm going to say, I know that I know that I know that this is coming. I know that I know that I know this is manifesting. I know that I know that I know that this job, this business with this abundance is mine. But I'm not going to be so worried and so hyper focused and hyper vigilant on it. I'm just going to love it from a distance and let it happen. I'm going to believe and have complete faith with the star card in wish fulfillment. Okay. I know that I've already set it in motion. I don't need to sit there and hover over it like a, you know, a mother hen. I can actually release it and trust that the universe is bringing it and trust that God energy, universal life force and um, creative energy with this page of cups, right? Is going to bring the ability, is going to bring it into me. And I love myself and trust myself enough to know that it's going to happen. Girls. My kittens. Okay. Outcome or advice is the hermit card. Study, 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 and be grounded. Have this beautiful Virgo energy that does this wonderful planning, but takes care of their, their emotional, their mental, and their physical well-being. Um, with the six of cups, you know, that's interesting because that's a family card, right? With the happy family, nostalgic, remembering things that our ancestors have taught us, remembering ways that maybe our parents like made it through something, remembering how you made it through, like really seeking to understand the strength right of our ancestors the strength of our family tree the strength of nostalgia there is strength in nostalgia there is strength in saying you know what i faced something like this three years ago and i came through it just wonderfully or i remember my grandmother saying when she was getting ready to start her business boy it was tough and these are the things she did to overcome and her perseverance right um it could be that and it could just be family members are going to help you for Pete's sake. Oop, and there's the beautiful Queen of Cups. So this also tells me that love and money are being balanced. They're coming, everything is coming together in a real beautiful way. Not a lot of air energy. So this is not moving as quickly as you would necessarily want, but it's moving, Gemini. So hold on to that fact that yes, it's moving, Gem. Okay? Do its whole, it's moving. Just give it a moment, okay? It's going to come to pass. Just hold on to that belief, but don't hold on so tight that you're worried because then you'll end up pushing that manifested desire away. 
Gemini, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here with us. I really, really appreciate it. Again, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And when you subscribe, hit that bell button so, so you know that when I go on live or I put up new content, you will always be notified of that fact. Okay? All right, guys, we're going to talk to you real soon. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.